<laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, then. Let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up. Right. Oof. Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Damn. She just straight up admitted it. Then you killed Sakura. No, I swear there's no way. Out with it. Out with it. <laughs> Probably. Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Talk. Now. <laughs> After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early. So I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go. But I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Damn, dude. Well, that's awkward. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a like a monster growling. And when I turned around, there was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. When I saw all that blood, I fainted right there in front of the magazines i don't remember what happened after that if you want to know more you'll have to ask her <laughs> Get it, back! it was your fault after all my fault master's fault when our faults combine they soar to even greater heights just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I... Splatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. And, well... I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. <laughs> but I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Cause normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... you know... But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre, so that's good. Well then, that's that. Let's start the vote. What's wrong? Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. No, not quite yet. Oof. Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. He wishes my command, darling! Damn, my knee. Oof. I was 
just sleeping peacefully. And all of a sudden, Sakura. Mm -hmm. I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. And you were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it. I smashed her good. And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up. I killed her there in front of the shelf. Wrong. That's not correct. We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. Yes. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. It has to be it. There's a Prusin attack shelf. I got it. Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stained by the magazines is proof of that. Yeah. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now. Look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. There's no way I could move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. <laughs> then, then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? Damn, dude. Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. Oh, so she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. No. I don't think that's possible. Yeah, I don't think so either. I got it. Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously, Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Uh, where was she hiding? What's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying. No, she's not. I've been saying all along there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head. And... Well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Yes. Yes. What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot. False. No, that's wrong. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Nope. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. You need a chicken there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. 
But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knees! She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. Oof. Explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! <laughs> she wasn't the master. You're the only one talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Yep. Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections. A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements. In B, reagents. And in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? I got it! Got it! The poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? You just said that section A was for supplements or whatever. Needed. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Wh what do you mean? I mean this.